Could you please put your mic on? Thank you very much. I can't hear over here. Excuse me. The lady did put it on, but she inadvertently put it off again. So please have a modicum of tolerance there, please. This actually is a private meeting held in public. It's useful, I think, being set out like this, but it rather depends on how the um, workload of the scrutiny panel or whatever one might be called in the future um, will progress in, in future because this is obviously um, aimed as a sort of call-in type basis, um, whereas we've, we've operated on a sort of project type basis so far. Um, if we move it over to more of a call-in type, we're, we're looking specifically at the combined authority, which is something
do that as well. Picking up the example of the strategic planning, uh, you may want to offer a view on that as a, as a scrutiny uh, body. So there's really three ways of doing it. I think two of them are easier than others in terms of timescales, and the calling is the one I think we need to work a bit harder on in terms of the way we get information to you to give you the opportunity to effectively scrutinise. And so I've certainly turned that take that message away, and I would want to, to try and develop that in, in the constitutional document that we bring forward to you in the future. The second point I would make is that we will maintain this digest, which I think it probably is a digest of decisions. We'll, we'll have this as a standard item to, to this committee if you mind to, to, to do that. Obviously you get these papers five, seven days before the meeting because the law requires us to do that anyway. If you identify something in there that you would like somebody to come to the meeting to discuss, if we can get that person or those people here, we can facilitate that. So by all means, pre warners we will try and do that. Diaries might not permit that and then we might have to move into a future meeting. But we would love to try and do that for you if we can. Okay. Thank you, Chair. Everybody happy with that? Yes. Okay. <coughs> we move on. Let's see the agenda item on there. It is the work program. The report updates us uh, where we're up to the work program. As you know, we will kick it off the housing topic group on the 27th of January. Um, I hope we get the same. once we get onto housing there's such an awful lot that's changed in relation to housing um, and you know what might come out of that, those changes homelessness people not being able to get onto the property markers at all and that might actually give us a whole breadth of work to do and um, that we might decide well we'll stick with, with housing in different categories I, I, I don't know how that's going to, go to pan out but certainly it's a massive topic with a lot of change and change still continuing uh, to happen. Um, so I, I think we probably should reserve the right to say what we're going to do going forward based on the outcomes of, of that meeting at least.
topic stone from the original list that you set yourselves as uh, was suggested. Perhaps have an away morning, whatever you want to call it, uh, to take stock of what you've done, what's worked well, what hasn't worked as well, things that haven't happened as well, perhaps you might have expected. And then also use the second part of that to look forward to the, the future work programme, uh, perhaps in the light of some of the information that we might know more about what David presented earlier. I think it's kind of in an interim position here between a combined authority that was set up in a particular way for a particular reason a couple of years ago and a very new set of circumstances. You've got some work to complete, that will take some time. Uh, and I think it wouldn't be a bad idea to step back uh, and see what you've done. And then in the light of what we, we know that's coming up in the future, set that future work program uh, from you know, June, July. sounds very positive. I think we, we must keep our eye on the devolution as a sort of a cloud over everything we're doing now because it's going at such a pace and the rules are changing it seems by the hour if not by the minute. And housing is an enormous topic. There's so many consequences that I hope we're going to look at and we're going to bring um, witnesses in hopefully to give us evidence see what time we've got left, but a, a review on what we have done with the transport chair. Yeah. It all sounds very good, yeah. I think we also uh, need to consider we've got May elections as well, and some of us may not be re elected. <laughs> yes. Hopefully not, but okay, so well, different panel of people. that. Uh -huh. 